Internet, George Lucas will be honored at the D D23 Expo. And of course, as most folks, as you already know, he he was the creator behind Indiana Jones and also Star Wars, and he will be honored in the Disneyland D um, um D23 Expo, which is actually pretty pretty cool. The honor um uh, the honor became official, or at least like it will become official. Um, because it's going to be hosted by Bob Bob um, Bob Eager, and it will take place August fourteenth in the um, um, in the Anaheim Convention Center, and pretty much is going to kick and pretty much that 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 whole week from the fourteenth to the sixteenth is going to celebrate all well, the fourteenth to the sixteenth of August is going to celebrate everything thing Disney. And also, they are talking about giving way more information about um, uh, the Star Wars, um, uh, the Star Wars and the Marvels films. And I've already covered this before, but they're also going to, but they're also going to go ahead and be talking about Kingdom Hearts three, the Star Wars themed um, um, Disney Infinity three point oh, and also Battlefront. And honestly, I really have nothing else to say about that. I mean, like, really, it's really nice that they're pretty much going to actually honor George George Lucas for actually creating something as cool as Star Wars and having and having it actually sort of like branch out and pull and pretty uh, and pretty much like like pull in so so many people the only thing that I can say is say is about George Lucas proper is that he should leave most of his older works alone because 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 the Star Wars universe, as of right now, it has got has got to be one of aside from maybe like the Marvel and maybe like the DC universes. That shit has so many people who have made fan shit and made all these different lores about them to where to where like George Lucas he didn't even like catch any of them up or 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 at least like which is weird because he gave his approval for some of them but then he never actually played them or read those scripts and then and then it's weird because it's like because like because technically he has he has final say upon like whatever is canon or not but technically if you really think about it it's like there or like whether he fucking approved it or not there are so many lores in star wars that honestly i don't even think that he can even keep up with or pretty much like people can even fucking tell him about but all in all, the most I can say about him is just leave your older works alone and just leave it in the hands of hands of pretty much everybody else because he is the one creator who that who that I do know who makes really good work. But but aside from like his glory glorious older movies, when he tries to adapt those today, it feels as though as that like he doesn't have his original crew who pretty much who pretty much would talk him through like what what should happen and what uh, and what shouldn't happen. It's like he's like in child mode and he's just like he's just having fun and trying to make a lot of crazy ass movies. But that is what I gotta say about that. Please tell me what you think about this down in the comment section. I'll catch you guys on the next John Grave show. If you like this video, please please hit that like button. I'll catch you next time. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.